Locomotion, Locomotion Station. Locomotion, Locomotion Station. We're here to learn, have fun and play at Locomotion Station. It's always so wonderful. Day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Locomotion Station. Thanks for joining us again. We have a special show all about pets today, so stay tuned and you'll learn some interesting things all about pets. My name is Miss Linnell and I'm the teacher and conductor here at Locomotion Station. And we have with us Engineer Chris, so we're going to say hello to Engineer Chris. Can you help me do that? Hello, Engineer Chris. Hello, everybody. I am the railroad man, I drive the train along The wheels they roll from gold to gold, the whistle blows her song Around each turn more things we learn, new lessons every day When we pull into each station, all across the nation A child's imagination leads the way Thanks, Engineer Chris. And we have some wonderful children who live right here in Austin, Texas, and they are going to be our class and help us all with all our activities. So let's meet them right now. Hello, what is your name? Emiliano. And you know what? Since we have a show about dinosaurs, I think we should make your name a dinosaur name. So what would that sound like? How about Emilianosaurus? Ooh, that sounds fierce. And how old are you, Emiliano? Five. Five. Can you do your best dinosaur roar? Uh, I don't know. Can you do? Rah! I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. That's okay. <laughs> and what's your name? Gianni. Gianni. Okay. Let's see. How old are you, Gianni? Six. Six. Let's see. Giannosaurus. Ooh. Can you do your best dinosaur roar for the friends at home? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and very good. What is your name? Miller. Miller. How old are you, Miller? Um, five. Okay. And Millerosaurus. Ooh, let's see. How does a Millerosaurus roar? Roar! Wow. That's a loud one. That's good. What is your name? Britlin, very good. And how old are you, Britlin? Four. Four. Can you tell me something you're thankful for? Um, my bike. Your bike, great. And who do we have here? Gracie. Gracie, how old are you, Gracie? Four. Four. And what are you thankful for? The bike. You, you're thankful for your bike as well? Yeah, bikes are fun, aren't they? And over here, what's your name? Ananya. Ananya. And how old are you, Ananya? Four and a half. Four and a half. And what are you thankful for? Bike. Your bike. Everybody's thankful for their bike. Right. Let's come to this table and see who we have. Who is this lady getting a hug? Uh, Zia. Zia. Zia five. Zia. And who is giving her a hug here? What's your name? Kailina. Kailina. Which, four. How, four. And what's your name? Scarlet, and you're five, a lot of four and five year olds. All right, now what we do first every morning is we say our Pledge of Allegiance, right? So I'm going to come over here and get our flags. Yes, every day at school we do it, right? We have our American flag. Okay, let's listen. Who knows what flag this is? Texas. Texas flag, very good. All right. Um, how about um, Scarlett, do you want to come hold our American flag for us? And Ava, do you want to come hold the Texas flag? All right, the rest of us, please stand up and raise your right hand. Everybody stand up. We have to show respect when we say the pledge. Okay, Kailina, and you need to stand up, guys. Stand up, Zia. All right, friends at home, this is your right hand. Put it over your heart. And Diego, you need to stand up on two feet. Ready, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, 
indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas Pledge. Ready? Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Very nice. Let's take a look at some dinosaurs. Do you know that dinosaurs lived millions of years ago and they roamed the earth, but they became extinct about 65 million years ago. Do you, does anyone know what extinct means? Gone. Gone, right. They, they died off. There are no more dinosaurs on earth today, right? Because a meteor hit the earth. That is one theory that a meteor hit the earth. Very good, yes. So we used to have Stegosaurus, and Stegosaurus, that means roof lizard or covered lizard because of all these plates. Look at look how all those bony plates run all the way along. Okay, and then we have Tyrannosaurus. This is the fiercest one. Tyrannosaurus means tyrant lizard or yeah, mean king, right? And next we have Apatosaurus, and he was he he was deceptive lizard. Deceptive means sneaky, so that means sneaky lizard. And then we have Triceratops. Has anyone ever seen this one before? Friends at home, have you seen this one? This means three-horned face, because tri means three, so three-horned face. All right, so what we're going to do with these dinosaurs is we are going to count how many syllables or parts are in their name. Syllables are one opening of the mouth, okay? So let's like take a couple of your names and see how many syllables. How about if we take Ava's name? If you put your hand under their chin and say her name, you can feel your mouth opening. Ava. How many? Good, Emiliano. How many times did your... Two times. Ava has two syllables. Let's take um, Emiliano's name because it's longer. Emiliano. How many times? Five. Wow, you have a lot of syllables, don't you? Okay, so these dinosaurs also have a lot of syllables. So we're going to see how many times our mouth opens on each of these. Let's try Triceratops. Can you say that with me with your hand under your chin? Oh, actually, let's count it on our fingers. Triceratops. How many? Four. Four syllables. So I'm going to put four here. Okay. How about, let's try Apatosaurus. Say it with me and count. Apatosaurus. Five. Five. Wow. That's a lot. Okay. How about Tyrannosaurus? Tyrannosaurus. Another five. Boy, these dinosaurs have some long names, don't they? Okay. Let's try Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Four. Four. Thank you, Ava. All right. Very good syllable counting. Well, I think it's time that we move around a little bit. So what we're going to do next is we're going to sing a song called We Are the Dinosaurs. Friends at home, if you would do this with us, you can stomp around in front of your TV or your computer. But we have some locomotion station stompers we're going to use. And here they are. Would you all come out front with me so that we can stomp around like big dinosaurs? So everybody can choose. If you would like, if you just want to stomp around without the stompers, you can as well. Yellow. We've got greens, we've got blues. Red, we've got all different colors, don't we? Okay, so we step on our stompers, pull the strings tight, and that'll help you stay on. Okay, everybody ready? All right, let's ask Engineer Chris to, um, to play the song for us. Okay, ready? We're going to say, Engineer Chris, please play. Ready? Engineer Chris, please play. The dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. What do you think of that? We are the dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. We make the earth flat. We make the earth flat. We stop and eat some food when we're in the mood. We stop. 
of you of some antenna you put it on your head like a headband want some they're very pretty and sparkly aren't they there we go for you and for you we have one extra i don't think i can wear one because i've got my hat on do you think i can i don't know it's too small for you i think it'll work there okay so now we're going to be scout bees you know what the scout bees do they're the ones czar do you know Exactly, very good. They go and hunt for the flowers, actually, and they're going to tell the other bees where um, to go, the forager bees, where to go get that honey. But they, to do that, to tell them, they can't talk. Can bees talk? No. No, so they do a dance, and when they dance, the other bees know where the honey is located. Isn't that amazing? So if the honey's close by, or the flowers, I'm sorry, not the honey, if the flowers are close by, um, they do a dance in a circle. So let's pretend our flowers that we found as scout bees are close by and we're gonna dance in a circle. Can you do a little bee dance? And we'll sing a song, okay? Do you like to buzz? All you're covered all in fuzz. Do you call your hive a home in the garden where you roam? Do you like to make honey? Are your stripes a little funny? Do you like to buzz? Okay, let's start a little bee dance so the forager bees know where to go get the flowers. There we go. Yeah. Bzz. I think they, let's buzz too. Bzz. like to buzz? Are you covered all in fuzz? Do you call your hive a home in the garden where you roam? Do you like to make honey? Are your stripes a little funny? Do you like to buzz? Whew, we're tired after our dance. All right, well, you know what? I think it's time for us to go to the story tree. And does anyone know how we get to the story tree for our story time? Do you know, Ruby? Of course, it's pretty far to the story tree, so we have to get our horses and gallop. Let's all come choose a horse from the animal hospital over here. So there's different different horses you can pick from. I want this one. Make this one. Matches my shirt. All right. I want this white one. Got it. Hey, I have this kind of. Okay. So oh, sorry. That's okay. All right. Follow me out here. We'll bring our horses. And at home, if you have a stick horse, you can ride along with us, or you can grab a broom or a mop. Anything will work to pretend it's a horse. So we need some galloping music. Can we ask um, Engineer Chris real nicely? We'll say, Engineer Chris, please play. Are you ready? Engineer Chris, please play. 
So come with us and gallop and gallop and gallop. So come with us and gallop to the story tree today. Our animal friends will take us, will take us, will take us. Our animal friends will take us to the story tree today. Oh, there it is. We're finally here. Let's come on in. Who's waiting for us? Engineer Chris is at the story tree. I have a story about colors that I wrote, and uh, it tells about all the different colors. Let's see what how it goes. You want to you want to read along with me? Yeah. Okay. This says colors. Hey, I have a point. And the first page says, red is the color of the rose that blooms in May. And blue is just what paints the summer sky each sunny day. I have, I have that one. Gold, the color of a sounding trumpet made of brass. The brass is my favorite. Brass is gold, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's my favorite. Green is all around, it, around you in the trees and in the grass. Grass is green, isn't it? In trees. Yellow is the color of a yummy ear of corn or the sun that, rise, that lights the sky and rises up to, meet, to greet the morn. Sun's yellow too, huh? Purple is the mountain reaching up to touch the sky. Brown, the lovely color in that special someone's eye. See the puppy dog has brown eyes? So does that girl, huh? Orange makes the jack-o'-lantern glow on Halloween. And gray is neither black nor white, but somewhere in between. But look around you everywhere, reflected in the light, is a magic world of colored rainbows, beautiful and bright. So you like that book? Yeah. The end of the rainbow. See, there's the rainbow with all the colors. And now it's raining at the end. There's the pot of gold at the end, huh? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. That was great. Do you know Engineer Chris wrote that book himself? Do you think you could write a book about colors? Yeah. I bet you Probably could. could draw I bet you some could. colors and then write something about that color. The name of this song is How Many Colors Can You Think Of? So I want you to think about that. How many colors can you think of? See if you can notice when, when uh, Engineer Chris names a song, a, a color in this song. can you think of? How many colors have you seen? I can think of one or two. Let's see, there's yellow, then there's blue. Oh yeah, there's red, and then a few more in between. Did I say green? There is purple, there is orange, there is aqua. There are colors you can guess to make a game. How many colors can you think of? How many colors can you name? What do you think? I think this is pink. What do you say? I say this is gray. This reflects a lot of light. Yeah, you guessed it. This is white. There are colors that you see around you every single day. Look up, look down, you may see brown, you're mad at Fred, you may see red. When no light's reflected back, yeah, you guessed it, this is black. There are lots of pretty colors in your pretty little head. So how many colors can you think of? How many colors do you know? maroon with just a hint of ruby red and bright magenta. There's 
violet and shades of indigo And did you know that there is chartreuse, there is beige and there is azure There are sunsets that are radiant as flame So how many colors can you think of? How many colors can you Songs. Maybe we can all go home and count how many colors we can name today. Name my hands <laughs> Very good. And Pete had a good observation. He said there was rhyming words. Do a lot of songs that's, have rhyming words? Most songs I have like rhyming like words, rhyming words. That's yes. What I, said. I, I always think on Thanksgiving about a song that my mom used to sing to me every Thanksgiving. No matter what was happening, my mom would sing this song. Mm. And I sang it to you before, maybe you can help me out. There's a great big turkey on Grandma's farm and he thinks he's very gay. He spreads his tail in a great big fan and he struts around all day. You should hear him gobble at the girls and boys for he thinks he's singing when he makes that noise. But he'll sing his song another way upon Thanksgiving Day. What do you think? <laughs> I think that's a funny song. I love that song. So what we are going to do now whoop, is make our very own dinosaur egg. Does anyone want a dinosaur egg to take home with them? Maybe it will hatch into a dinosaur. We don't know. And what we have, did I put little dinosaurs? No. You could actually do that at home though. You could um, get a little plastic dinosaur and put it inside if you would like. This is Play-Doh and I made this Play-Doh. I didn't buy this and it's made from food if you can believe that. It's made out of peanut butter and flour and it has, it has one cup of flour, one cup of peanut butter, and it has a, tea, a tablespoon of uh, syrup in it. And boys and girls at home, you could make this peanut, this um, Play-Doh at home too. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to shape it into a dinosaur egg. What shape is an egg? An egg, like this. Uh-huh, do you know what shape that is? It's an oval. Oval, right. So if you can make, Yes. So we're going to shape it like an oval. And if you want to play with it for a while, I'm going to be reading some birthday names. Um, so you could also play with it a little while before you shape it into that egg shape. Let's see. Does that look like an egg? No. <laughs> Let's see. All right. That pretty much like an egg? Maybe. All right. So you're each going to get a package of the Play-Doh. So you want to take that back to your seat? And there's one for you. How do you make the shape of an egg? Well, I can help you with that. You just kind of have to roll it into an oval shape. You want some help? And Catherine, there's yours. <laughs> you could actually eat it. Um, this is edible Play-Doh. That's why they made it, make it with them. Um, but let's not eat it right now, okay? <laughs> So, Emiliano, you can just make it, form it like that. Mm. You like the way it smells? It smells like... Mm. Mm -mm. Yum, yum. It smells like yum, yum, yes. Yeah, it smells <clears throat> like some, some, some peanut butter. Some peanut butter, yes. Can you make it look like that? That's a pretty good egg, I think. Maybe it's a potato. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you want to play with it, you can do lots of things with Play-Doh, can't you? You could make a snake. Okay. You want to take my piece? This one's kind of falling apart. Why don't you take mine? Sometimes you have to work with it a little bit to get it. All right. Well, we are going to wish happy birthday to some boys and girls at home who have recently had birthdays. Emma is four years old. Eli is five years old. Jack is seven years old. Happy birthday, Dustin. Dustin is six years old. Noah is three years old. Jalen turned five and Jordan also turned five. Stephen is four years old. Aaliyah is one. 
Andrew is one year old. Frankie is five. Rosa is also five. Here's Nevaeh, she's two. Jaden is three years old. Alicia is 10. Here's Molly and Mara. Molly is eight and Mara is two. Ezekiel is seven years old. Zane is seven. Bob turned five years old. Here's London, London is four. Jalen is five years old. Jack is nine years old. Anna turned eight years old. And here's Andre, Andre's five. Reese is three. Eliana is nine years old. Happy birthday, Krista. She's six years old. Ava is now four years old. Jaden is four. Karina turned seven. Morgan is five years old. Colette turned four. We have Nicholas. Nicholas is four. Here's Dylan. Dylan is six years old. And Quentin turned two years old. Happy birthday, Rebecca. Rebecca is seven. Here's Sophia and Caroline, and they're both six years old. Happy birthday, Aliana. She's eight. Here's Jaden, who's two. And Christian is five years old. Miguel is now eight years old. Kylie is four. Hannah is nine years old. And Janelle turned seven. Happy birthday, Isaiah, who's four. And here's GT. GT turned three. Happy birthday, Maxim, who is two years old. Happy birthday to these friends at home. Well, how did you do with sorting your animals? Did you get them all into pets and not pets? Does anybody want to take a bite of one of those animals? No? You just want to so Oh, are they good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the fun part right now. We get to have a snack. What is that? A camel. I hope that was on your not pet plates plate. <laughs> Definitely not a pet, a camel. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. I hope you had fun with all our activities about pets. And um, thank you to Zara and Amaris and Ava and Ariella. And of course, thanks to Engineer Chris for his wonderful music. And I think now it's probably time to go to recess and we can finish our snacks in just a bit. So let's say, can you all wave goodbye to the friends at home? Bye friends at home. We'll see you next time on Locomotion Station. Okay, let's go play. How about that? This way, ladies. I am the railroad man, I love each mile of track Along we go through rain and snow, never looking back Up hills we climb, we love the time we spend with you each day When we reach our destination, locomotion station Where a child's imagination leads the way Bye, everybody.